Well, a lot of us will be heading to the beach to cool down over the weekend, but you may want to pick and choose where you go. Pacifica's popular Lindemar, for example, is among the five Bay Area beaches that made this year's beach bummers list. The annual study looks at fecal bacteria and other pollutants. Pillar Point and Half Moon Bay also made the list. But one peninsula community did even worse. Three beaches in Foster City made the top 10 list. Our Kelsey Thord shows us some longtime residents may be to blame. Francisco Contreras and his family just moved to Foster City a few months ago. He told me he was initially excited to live in a quiet neighborhood by the bay and even more excited to take advantage of one of the many small beaches lining the city's lagoon. I had an idea like getting in the water with my dog, but then they say it's like not like there is uh, the water is toxic, it's polluted. So soon after moving here, Francisco learned that Foster City's beautiful lagoon has a bacteria problem. The issue is so bad that according to the organization Heal the Bay, which puts out a beach report card every year, Foster City has three of the top 10 most polluted beaches in the state. Francisco says that news came as a shock. We haven't swim because of that. We are, we are not sure if can we swim or not. The three parks featured on that most polluted list are Erkenbrack Park, Marlin Park, and Gold Park. All three are within a few miles of each other, and they're not what many people would think of as a beach. They have grass and playgrounds, and only a small section of sand leads into the water. In a statement sent to us by Foster City, Officials say they remain, quote, committed to improving the water quality and efforts are underway to achieve this goal at the identified locations, as well as throughout the rest of the lagoon. City officials believe the culprit for the pollution could be Canadian geese. The city says hundreds of the birds have taken up residence in the area and are creating a health hazard. Officials are currently looking at ways to get rid of the birds and hope that will help to improve the water quality. Francisco told me he hopes that works and works fast. Especially with the high rents that they are like the houses, like we expect a nice, safe place for us. Like paying like $6,000 for a house and, but, but the, the water next to you is toxic. Don't get it, don't touch it though. Okay, you know, I think that's that. For now, Francisco says his family will continue to walk by the water, but not in it. He hopes one day soon the city finds a solution to the problem so his kids and his dog can enjoy the beaches they were initially so excited to move close to. At last count, about 350 geese have taken up permanent residence in the Foster City area. Fencing has been put up around waterways and workers regularly power wash the walkways. The city is also working on a controversial plan to kill off up to 100 of those birds.